going on YouTube. So, um, recently I've been doing some Pokemon opening streams and I uploaded it on one of YouTube and then another video is in the works as of the time of recording this. Don't know if it'll be up by the time this video is up, but I'm going to be sending some of the cards that I have into Beckett BGS grading services. So I'm going to do a little bit of, you know, Lee and Hart guess the grade here. I just have four cards this time. Uh, so the time you're seeing this video, they've already been graded. I'm pre-recording this before I send them in. So the four cards that I have are, we got this special delivery, Detective Pikachu. We have a base set Mewtwo Hollow, non-shadowless. We have a dark Charizard Hollow, And then the Champion's Path, shiny Charizard V. So let's kind of look into all these cards here, see if I can get this focus a little bit better here so first card we'll look at is the special delivery pikachu card so this card was a free promo from pokemon center if you did you bought 25 dollars from them you get it for free and it's just a beautiful beautiful looking holographic card you can kind of see it i got a little bit of a swirl right here on it and swirls are always always very very nice to get but looking closely at the centering on it, let's see if we can focus a little bit better. There we go. Looking at the centering, might be off a little bit. I'd say left, more left than there is right. Top and bottom looks perfect. I don't see any print lines. Nothing on there. We'll look at the back. Back centering also, like I said, off right to left. Top to bottom looks good. Don't see any whitening anywhere. Top corner, maybe something. Rest of it looks very, very nice. So with this one, I am going to go with a BGS. I will go with a 9.5 for this card with the swirl. I would love a 10, but I'm thinking a 9.5. Next card is this Mewtwo base set hollow non shadowless. Looking at this card again, just such a beautiful card. These base set cards are some of my favorite, and I wish I had more from when I was younger, but you know, you win some, you lose some. But looking at this card, centering a little bit off from right to left, there is. A bit something there just came right off. I don't see any print lines. Actually, I do see some lines going down right here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. You kind of see how that's... Yeah, there's definitely some print lines on here. Mm, centering top to bottom looks good. A little bit of hollow bleed up top. Some whitening up there. Maybe I could get that off beforehand. But the back centering, you know, off left to right. This one, not as great as I wanted, but I'm going to guess a BGS 9 for that one. We're going to go with BGS 9 for the Mewtwo card. So we have a 9.5 for the Pikachu and a 9 for the Mewtwo. Now coming to the good cards. This Dark Charizard is my pride and joy card. It's not in perfect condition by any means, but I love it. Just looking at centering... A little bit off right to left. Top to bottom looks perfect. No print lines that I can see. Surface on it looks good. A little bit of something there. Maybe I can get that off. Yeah, definitely some surface damage there. Some whitening on the corners and on the card itself. Yeah, this one, I'm also going to go with a BGS 9 for this one as well. Again, all these cards, the Pikachu I got, and this Dark Charizard I purchased, and the Mewtwo I purchased myself. This one, the Dark Charizard I got when I met a lady a few months ago and didn't know anything about Pokemon cards, really. I just Googled Dark Charizard and it came up as 20 bucks. Bought it for 20 bucks. Didn't realize that this one, the 4 out of 82, is the hollow version that is worth much, much more. So I definitely want to get this one graded just to see where I stand with it. And the Mewtwo, I just, you know, TCG player, wanted a Mewtwo. See if I can get lucky with it. 
This card I did pull myself out of Champion's Path. I went crazy off camera. So looking at this beautiful, beautiful looking card. You know, as much as I want to say settings off left to right, when I look at these cards, I think that's just how this is printed from how his arm has to go over and his tail hits that. I've seen PSA 10s and Beckett 10s have this exact same centering on here. Surface on it looks perfect. I see no blemishes, no dings anywhere. Back as well. The centering on the back looks immaculate. Maybe a little bit off right to left. And maybe top to bottom. Corners look good. There's no whitening anywhere. This one though, I'm going with a Beckett Gold Label 10 for this card. You know, a black label would be perfect, but that will never happen. But I'm going with a Gold Label 10 for this one. So, that is what the guesses are in this. I might do this um, again for more cards, and it's added on to this video. And you'll be the ones to know before I do. And I would just like to say, I will see you guys when these come back. And I got my Shining Charizard graded. So let's just get into this. Uh, let's get back to guess that grade. I think for <clears throat> Pikachu, I guessed a 10. And Charizard, I guessed a 9. All right, here we go. This is the first one. this first one going to be? Oh, they're both here. They look taped together. Nope, they're not. Here's the first one. First one is a Charizard. First time ever getting anything graded. Let's see what happens here. Let me get into focus here. Nine! Look at that! First ever graded card comes in with... My guess, PSA 9 Charizard V. Kind of hoping I was wrong on this one, but good enough. So good. Never had anything graded before. My guess is the corners. There's some whitening up there. That's my guess of why this didn't get a 10 was the corners. Centering looks good. Ooh. Look at that. So now for the big boy, the Pikachu. I guessed a PSA 10. Pristine, perfect. This thing was beautiful. A 9! PSA 9. Aw, oh, man. The one thing about this card is, though, I do have a swirl on it. Can you see that? So I now have a PSA 9 special delivery Pikachu with a swirl. Such a beautiful card, though. So both these were 9s. Wow, I must have got kind of lucky there. I mean, the Pikachu one definitely, you know, was thrown around. All it did was just come UPS. This one I pulled myself. Wow, look at that. Such took forever to get here. These things were gone for almost two months. But they're back. Oh, such nice cards. Well, that is the guess the grade, guys. Uh so happens. You know, I got the Charizard right. Unfortunately, Pikachu I did get wrong, but I will take nines for both of those cards. Absolutely, I will take PSA nine. Might be sending more stuff out soon. I'll be sending my Lapras out here. I uh, should be actually getting a PSA any day now. And then when that comes in, we'll do yet another Guess the Great on that one. And I'll see you guys later.